Hey guys, Crew Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Shane. Hi Calvin. I'm Aaron. And it's time for Avatar. Uh, last episode was the uh, Great Divide, where the two... Cross the Great Divide. Is yep. that a song, right? I don't know. Isn't that a thing apart? The two tribes were warring with each other. Not know, warring with each other. They didn't like each other. They, they hated each other. Yeah. But now they're friends. Kind of bad. Yep. They stopped warring based on the lie. Pretty much, they just yeah. copied... We don't know. Chris Nolan lie. pretty much just copied that movie and made it the end of... The Dark Knight. Is that what it is? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> As you guys know, we're doing polls. Last week's poll, we're going to check in on that before we move on to the next episode. Yeah! Whose story of the tribe's conflict was most correct? What were the uh, options? We had uh, 2% uh, voted for the Gangen, which is the prissy ones. Okay. Uh, 6% was the Zhang, which is the dirty ones. 20% was Aang's lie, and 71% was Ooh. none of the above. So none of them are yeah. right. Can... Uh, none of the above. I think so, it was right. Well, how's the question ordered again? Which one was most correct? How can a lie be most correct? Because it was just, Calvin said it, it as a joke. It might not have been a lie, yeah. though. It could have been the truth. He yeah. never said it was a Calvin lie. Calvin said it as a joke. So, anyway, uh, anything else before we move on? No! No. Water bending. Here we go. Book one. Water. Yeah. Water bending, go! Mm. I don't want to see him do that. See, that's how he flies. What? How's he doing that? This is a dream or something. It's a dream. Right? Whoa, Whoa Momo's fuck. so big! Here? Oh, hey. What? Why'd you disappear? Shit! Gets electrocuted. Oh, he's gonna freeze. Come on, Appa. <laughs> Is that Oza? This was in my dream. We shouldn't go to the market. What happened in your dream? Food eats people. Also, Momo Eric's nightmare. Not his, his face. <laughs> it's unreal, it's unreal. A storm is approaching from the north. I suggest we alter our course and head southwest. They lost their little boat. We know the Avatar's traveling northward. Yeah. So we will do the same. The safety of the crew doesn't matter. Huh? Huh? Finding the Avatar. Is far more important. You're crazy. It's a nice day. No clouds, no wind, no nothing. So quit your nagging, woman. <laughs> we should... My joints say there's going to be a storm. A bad one. Well, Storm's coming, Annie. Better get home right. quick. The way you talk to everyone around here, from your hardworking crew to your esteemed uncle, shows you know nothing about respect. <sighs> you don't care about anyone but yourself. Being a jerk. There's a storm coming, look! Definitely coming. Whoa, he's docked. Sokka, maybe this isn't such a good idea. The Avatar disappeared for a hundred years. You turned your back on the world. Don't yell at him. Aang would never turn his back on anyone. What's wrong? Where are you going? Oh, he's right away. Right. Keep flying. You're a horrible old man. <laughs> that fisherman was way out of line. Actually, he wasn't. I was playing with some other kids just outside the South Wall. I was trying to teach them how to do the air scooter. First, you form the ball. Then you gotta get on quick. <laughs> Where'd you learn that trick, Aang? I made it up. Wow! <laughs> Aang, come with us. We need to speak with you. So you get the arrow if you're a master. Because those other kids didn't have arrows, but they all do, and he does. Storm clouds are gathering. Hmm. I fear that war may be upon us, young Avatar. We need you, Aang. Huh. Okay. Try to understand. My nephew is a complicated young man. He has been through much. Whoa. Oh, we're getting those past. If I'm going to rule this nation one day, don't you think I need to start learning as much as I can? Very Seems like well. a happier... But you must promise younger. not to speak. Thank you, Uncle. I want to see Ozai. The him. Earth Kingdom defenses are concentrated here. A dangerous battalion of their strongest earthbenders and fiercest warriors. How do you expect them to defeat a powerful Earth Kingdom battalion? They'll be used as a distraction when we mount an attack from the rear. What better to 
juice is baked in fresh meat. You can't sacrifice an entire division like that. Those soldiers love and defend our nation. How can you betray them? Zuko was right. Rob Stark did that. But it was not his place to speak out. We made up a game you can play with the air scooters. Airball. Great. Unfair advantage for whichever team you're on. So what? I can't play? That's the only fair way. Oh, okay. Sorry, Yang. There's an uneven number of them, too. Okay, now who wants to have Jinju on their team? <laughs> Ping Ping? <laughs> what? Shit. He had disrespected. Zuko oh. would have to do his own father. Aang, I'm not going to let them take you away from me. Aang? Oh, shit. I never saw you after again. So, this is whenever you got frozen. Shit. I'm liking this episode. Yeah. And then the Fire Nation attacked our temple. People needed me and I wasn't there to help. You don't know what would have the world needed me and I wasn't there to help. You give people hope. When Prince Zuko saw that it was his father who had come to do him, he begged for mercy. Please, father. I only have the Fire Nation's best interest at heart. I'm sorry I spoke out of turn. Fight for your honor. I meant you no disrespect. I am your loyal son. Rise and fight, Mitsuko. I won't fight you. You will learn respect. And suffering will be your future. <coughs> That's Mark Hamill. I looked away. Yes, it is. The Fire Lord said that by refusing to fight, Zuko had shown shame and weakness. As punishment, he was banished and sent to capture the Avatar. Only then could he return with his honor. So that's why he's so obsessed. Yes, sir. Uh... Looks like he was flying. In this, he's not. What do you want to do, sir? Save. Let him go. We need to get this ship to safety. Then we must head directly into the eye of the storm. Ooh, shit! That was cool. That was pretty cool. He split the mast. He's so he can hover. That's what I'm saying. It's hilarious. Oh, no, oh, 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 no, it's just like before. Let's freeze, come now back another hundred years. Freeze, <laughs> yeah, freeze again years. and come back in another hundred years. <coughs> well, at least they're holding on to Appa. I wonder how cold it is. Yeah, just let Appa, like, become... Avatar! Don't freeze again, get him out of there. Oh. Yeah, now you go up. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. I like that episode. That's a really good episode. Yeah, that's great. Uh, D. Bradley Baker. Yep. Mark Hamill. Yep. Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. Fire Lord Ozai. Now, um, who is... James Hong. James Hong. Oh, okay. He's yeah. in a lot of stuff. He's in a I lot of that stuff. Guy. Yeah. All right. Robert Pine was the fisherman guy, too. Yeah. Yeah, Robert Pine. Now, D. Bradley Baker, we know him from Clone Wars. He was all the clones. He's Rex and Rebels now and stuff like that. So, yeah. He's, he's, I like him, too. I don't know. Who, I, I don't recognize him in the show, though. He now, does the voice of, of Appa. Like, the grunts oh, and okay. stuff. Now, speaking too. of voices, did you know that uh, Zuko is voiced by Rufio from Hook? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. The same actor plays him. Dante Basco. Um, yeah, it must be his But yeah, name. Rufio was talking about like how he's done some voice acting. Like, yeah, he's, he's known for Avatar. I probably should have caught that. Yeah, so he actually does... Play. Actually makes me kind of like him even more. Uh, I don't know why. He does. I think he's already a neat character in himself. Yeah. yeah. Especially now that we've gotten... We've got a lot of background on Aang and on yeah. Zuko, you know? Yeah. So we didn't know like necessarily why yeah. he got his face like now, that. Now, and... I knew that Mark Hamill was in this show somewhere because... Dave Filoni talks about how, yeah, I worked with Mark a long time ago, and then I worked with him again in Clone Wars, and, and, and uh, he hasn't appeared in Rebels yet, but he was a, he did play a character in Clone Wars. He was uh, Darth, ba- Darth Bane. Yep. Darth Bane? Uh, yeah, he played that voice. Cool. But, uh, so I've been kind of just like listening for new characters and stuff, but I know he's Ozai. That's yeah. awesome. I've been waiting for Ozai. I still haven't gotten a good look at him. No. Oh, no. He looks that's menacing, that's intentional. We, yeah, we, yeah, we don't know Of course. Like but knowing that he's voiced by Mark Hamill, I'm, it's like... Three times as excited now. Yeah, yeah. When I first watched through it uh, a few years ago, I didn't know it was Mark Hamill really? until like the last yeah. episode. He has and a very like, oh, yeah. Yeah. he has a very distinct way. I don't know how I can say how distinct his his lines are, but there's, there's something in his voice that I can always tell that oh, that actually is him. Yeah. Like whenever uh, in Robot uh, Chicken. Robot Chicken with Star Wars, I can always tell when they have Mark Hamill playing Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Even though he doesn't sound like Luke anymore, no, but it's still I, I can Mark tell Hamill. it's Mark yeah. Hamill, you know. So Zuko, he actually he challenged that general, and then he fought the fire. Yeah, he that's thought he was going to fight the general because that's who he insulted. Yeah, but he ended up by the, insulting him, he insulted the fire the court. Lord. Yeah, I like that. I'm, I yeah. think it's pretty badass. Crazy, but he and, didn't fight back. Well, that's the only reason he got banished too, because he wouldn't fight. He back. wouldn't fight back. So his dad just fucking burnt the shit out of him, regardless if he fought back or not. It kind of adds a different perspective to Zuko and the Fire Lord too I think yeah. you know because like maybe the banishment was just because that happened right that's yeah. all it was because he didn't fight back he shamed him he's so he maybe he's not right. maybe he is a bad guy because of what all he's done but maybe he's not quite as evil as just like screw my son get out of here you know yeah because we haven't really gotten that story yet until now I mean it could be a matter of you know all bad wizards were in Slytherin, but not all Slytherins are bad wizards. Yeah. You know, it could be something like that. Yeah. I wonder if we'll ever get any information about Zuko's mother. Maybe we'll see yeah. some of those traits in the mother and not the father, you know? That'd be interesting. That makes me almost wish, like, in-game, like, Aang is supposed to defeat the Fire Lord, but it's fucking Zuko that does, you know? That'd be a cool, that fun be, story. I don't know. That'd be I pretty mean, damn cool. Yeah. That'd be kind of like Star Wars, though. It'll be a little Star Wars-ish, but, you know. Anyway. So, Aang and his guilt... Because, uh, I mean, it's not his fault that the fire, that the airbenders are gone, really. No. no. But, I mean, if he were there, he would have went to the Avatar state, because we know he's capable, because he went to the Avatar state the same day, just protecting himself. Yeah. So could he have Maybe, I don't know when. It, it? Yeah, I don't know. Probably. Where. He can't control it. He can't control but it, but in times if, of need, if, it happens. If a danger was serious enough, maybe it would have happened, yeah. but maybe it would have been threatening just to him alone. Yeah. Or what if he died before he was able to get to it yeah. or something, yeah. I mean, but there's, there's a lot of different... I mean, I can definitely see where he's coming from, where he, he takes on that blame. Um, I think it's probably important for him to take on the blame, you yeah. know? But I don't see it as... I don't blame him for what happened, you know? It's good for him it's the to, Fire Nation's fault. to feel the responsibility, Yeah, but yeah, he's, just he's not necessarily yeah. responsible. For but in, in terms of being a savior and having that complex thrust upon you, yeah. you know, it's probably good to feel that guilt you know well i like the, the whole reason of him leaving was because of the argument of like he needs training for the world yeah and then well he's a kid he should have freedom and fun to do kid stuff yeah you know like maybe they just needed a balance of those things like okay today we're gonna train all right tomorrow oh, yeah. Go have fun, yeah the guy know? knew what he was doing yeah i think that's what they needed to do rather than what like we need to hurry it now yeah they yeah. were they were doing what was best for them not for ang yeah, I mean, I, I definitely side upon the he should have been treated as any other normal kid before he, he's given all that responsibility. Well, I think we have so many examples of people that have been denied childhood. 
and what they become in their adulthood. I think that's why they did the whole, like, like usually Jackson. we wouldn't say this until the 16 years old, you know? Yeah. Which I think worked, because even once they, all your avatar, yeah. then the kids wanted to play with them even, you know? Yeah. And yeah. That, can, that can cause an effect on you just just that, you know? Like, these were my yeah. friends, and now they're just not because I'm like, this. how long after Aang froze himself did the, the comet come that, right? Because that's when around the time the comet came and the Fire Nation yeah. attacks. Like, because he would have had, what, another... Four years before. Well, it probably was because he's twelve, right? It was probably it probably came like that summer, right? Isn't it coming like every yeah. I'm just saying, like once that thing yeah. came, he would have had to, regardless of training, he would have had to step up, right? But so he would have had like another maybe another year or so of being a kid. Yeah. But even even then, the other kids weren't they they didn't treat him that way either, you know. So, all right. Well, I mean, that's kind of a tragic story when you think about that too much. Yeah, it is. I mean, both sides, too. Mm-hmm. Well, of course, yeah. I really like the comparison <coughs> of the two stories and done so well by transitioning from fire shot to fire shot. The well, campfire thing? I, I, yeah. I, really, like, I like the campfire yeah. story style of it where like they're both just sitting around this fire yeah. talking. What a lot to put in 22 minutes, too. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah they fit a lot in it. And the, the, most, the best part was fucking Iroh, he, he could control the lightning. He channeled it. Yeah. He channeled it and moved it off into the water. Yeah. How the fuck did he do that? I don't know. Well, I mean, I guess that I mean fire and plasma. I guess well, it's, heat. Heat. Say, it's heat. Yeah, but it's like a thousand degrees. It's supercharged it's plasma. It's a lot right? more than a thousand. It's a, it's it's insane. Yeah, but it's he it's like hotter than the surface of the sun. Yeah, it like didn't fucking it phased him a little bit, but he yeah. didn't like seem hurt or affected by it by all. He didn't have this fucking awesome ring shit. I remember he hit struck by lightning. You ever see that guys get struck oh, by lightning yeah. and then all over their arm are these like. Patterns like I want that to happen to me. Celtic patterns, <laughs> yeah. Um, I wrote down because like it, the shot, the shot for it went from like behind him to like his face yeah. and everything, and then it looked like a, a sense of anger. Yeah. And then lightning struck his boat, and I wrote down like lightning strike the boat. Like was it out of like his anger somehow he caused it to happen? Yeah. So like I don't because we talked before like can water benders use the water in people's bodies or yeah. you know what, yeah. what what's, what, like what's a, the limits of what I'm yeah. like, what are the advanced forms yeah I'm like of... what's lightning I was, gonna be, I was gonna bring up like what's lightning made of can they control lightning and then he just fucking did it and I'm like well <laughs> it goes my speculation <laughs> see the, the thing I like about it though is that he didn't create the lightning he channeled it whereas yeah. they create fire yeah you know but I don't know if we'll ever get a like a, you know, of course, whenever you get like a scientific explanation of how they're doing that, yeah, because everybody else needs to have a different. They need to have an element to act upon, whereas fire seems to come from nowhere. But then you could say like, well, it's a matter of them because we know they can heat things as well with their body, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe they're heating their body. Well, waterbenders can cool things too. Yeah, they can their, they can freeze things like with their breath, and so stuff. maybe they're heating yeah. up and igniting air or some shit. I don't know. It'd be neat, like what a fight like in a thunderstorm like that would do with like lightning happening and yeah. rain's constantly falling so there's yeah. plenty of water there's lightning there's you know, air it would be around. like uh, the end of the force unleashed 2 where star killer like grabs lightning lightning is shooting around Camino he's shooting at he, Vader he, he gets it into his he gets into his hands and he gets the other one's hands and he charges himself up and he shoots it at Vader well, and, and it's like going yeah and Vader's just taking he's it channeling it as, <laughs> he's channeling to Vader too. fuck I love that fight it's a good time damn it just wait till number 3 uh, yeah yeah well. Okay, um, yeah, fire transitions. Now, okay, Iroh. We know that he's supporting, uh, Zuko, but he never really, like, takes a, he never takes a hand in actually apprehending him. I mean, one time he was, like, shooting fire at the sky, but didn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, What does he think of the Avatar? Because he never, like, says, like, you know, yeah, we had to stop stop the Avatar, we had to take him to the Fire Lord, you know? He seems almost passive to Aang. He's just there helping Zuko. Yeah. yeah. I wonder I what's going kinda, on with that. I think he, it's, he's trying to groom him to be a better leader, a yeah. better person. Yeah. It's Hopefully, he'll, like he's maybe a... he'll realize at the end of the journey, he hopes that... He'll make the right decision yeah. about it? Yeah. yeah. He's always felt more like a mentor, even in the flashback where like he's like, Zuko, what's wrong? You yeah. know, and like talking to him. I always felt like more of a mentor thing where like, I don't want him to do what I'm doing. I want him to learn, yeah. but also hopefully listen to his wisdom, mm-hmm. you know? I don't know. There's something about Iroh that when I see him, he's doing all this shit. It's like, something's going on with this guy. He's going to be fucking awesome. Bet you he is just as good. Maybe a little worse, but he's probably on par. Maybe with the Fire Lord? He's his brother. Fire Lord's brother. He's the Fire Lord's brother. I know that. Is he his... There's going to be some backstory between him and the brother. Do we... Yeah. I mean, there's going to be a reason Do we know he's if he's his older or his younger? Can just tell us? He seems to me like he might be his older brother, right? I guess I don't we don't know. have that information yet. Yeah, we don't, we don't have, have that information yet. He seems older, but... Iroh's older. Look at him. 
I would think. I would say Iroh's older. The other guy's in more shape. Yeah. I mean, but I if know. you think about like warring civilizations and stuff yeah. like that, even though uh, a sibling might be older yeah. or first in line, generally the one that was more powerful yeah. or that commanded like the hearts of yeah. men and stuff. Because I mean, we, we know now, at the very least, and they, they call him Prince a lot, but the Fire Nation seems to, or the Fire Nation, yeah, yeah. Fire Nation. They they are, what do they call it, her, her, heretical? We know that they have heirs, so like Zuko would have become the Fire Lord once that succeeded, right? But if Iro is older than the Fire Ozai, then that means that there's something. Yeah, there's something we're missing. Maybe about. it's like the greatest warrior becomes a leader, like in the Scorpion King. We respect strength. Yeah, honestly, that the way we see them, it could be. Yeah, yeah. well, that, yeah, I love that's the King. King. Or Zuko, he got punished for not fighting or being passive. Maybe that's what happened with Ira, right? Because he seems pretty passive in that regard too. Maybe that's why. It's like it's like Stannis and Renly. Like Renly's like no one wants you for the king, you know. But they're gonna. He, that's why he had a claim for the throne as well. Even though technically Stannis, the older brother, should have gotten it. You know, mm. yeah. There been no contest. I mean, he could just be. You know, he's very passive, but maybe he understands firebending yeah. a lot better. But he doesn't have any military training or any of that yeah. kind of stuff. So I mean, the a... other brother maybe took it over more. Okay. So because he maybe he was more adept to that, whereas Iroh is more just. Iroh was a general. True. Yeah. And they they even but, they still respect him as general too. In this, even sure. even Earth Nation yeah. respect him. Yeah, because so, he had that. Like he like laid siege to somebody for a hundred <coughs> for a hundred days or something like that. Always um, that. Right? Siege <laughs> to uh, Bossing Se. Yeah, some yeah, and then he ended up giving up or something like that. Like they didn't give in. He respected that or something like that. Anyway, one hundred percent. Right now, he's my favorite character, Ira. But uh, I'm I he's want, my favorite character yeah. too. I want to see more Ozai. He seems like a class more classical villain, but he you know. I love the idea that you know you challenge one of my generals, you fight me, not him. You know that was that's pretty cool in a in a bad guy way, but I like that. So yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, I felt a lot a lot more honor bound thing of it being his court, whereas maybe if it had been somewhere else, challenging general would have been yeah. challenging the general. Hmm. But I'm I'm interested in seeing how he pans out because so far I've had him viewed as like he's just a bad evil guy. Yeah. But I think there's a lot of respect and honor and stuff in the way his stuff works. And yeah. Maybe he's not as just evil deep as I think he is. Maybe he's a little bit more to him. And I, I I just like villains yeah. that are more than just he's easy. Yeah, more uh, me too. Of course, just, I'm yeah. I'm interested because uh, I can't remember the name of the first Fire Lord that took the common over a hundred years ago, but there's one there, and then Ozai. He's not the same Fire Lord, right? No. He, he's obviously much younger than the, he has to have been much younger. So in the comet coming again, you know, we know that he didn't just get supercharged because he got a comet. He earned his place as Fire Lord, and then he'll take over the world. Once the new comet comes, right? I think his name is Zhao. It was something like that. Fire Lord, Fire Lord Zhao. Zhao. Okay. I think. Yeah. So I'm I'm really interested moving forward. I love this episode. A lot of background, a lot of lore. A good one. You know, we got, you know, more. The more I learn about Zuko, uh, the more I know that he will be one of our heroes by the end of this thing. I think. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Uh, at least to the point where we're we he's a protagonist for us, even if he's an antagonist for Aang. It could be neat if they. He's they, not just a straight up They get, like, a team of, like, benders together. Yeah. I mean, you need... Like, working with the Avatar. I think it would be cool to have, like, you know... It'd I be imagine. like the Planeteers and Captain Planet. You gotta... Yeah. All of them can do that, and then he doesn't... If they get... They get... Well, they won't find they'll, any other they'll combine and make a but, Megazord. True, yeah. He's already mastered airbending, though. Well, yeah, he has. But I'm saying, like, if there was an Avatar that could control all of them, and then you had a Firebender, an Airbender, a Waterbender, and an Earthbender all fighting with him... That could be kind of cool, but they won't find. Any I mean, it's not anymore. necessarily one hundred percent that there's no more Airbenders, is it? Are there? I mean, it could be like it could be like Saiyans, where yeah, Planet Vegeta was destroyed, <laughs> but there were still Saiyans out there. Yeah, you know. I don't, I don't think anyone's seen an Airbender for like. That's true. A hundred years almost. Yeah, I don't know. it would be cool to have like the four elements in yeah. an Avatar, but would be yeah. Neat, but anyway, all right. Well, even still, I'm I'm pretty excited. But I mean, hell, the damn, damn show is called Last Airbender. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe when he has kids. You guys got anything else? No. All right, that's gonna be everything for Avatar. We I gotta can't do a, say anything else. I know Calvin can't say anything else. You I want to tell you guys. You do a good job, Calvin. You do a good job deflecting our speculations. Usually, you know, like Shane's kind of easy. Like I'll, sometimes I'll say a speculation to Shane, and I can sometimes tell if he's like, 
I don't know. That's why I, I, well, I, 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 he's, excited, he's excited with I, I intentionally well, I, don't look at Shane when I yeah. speculate. Well, I'll yeah. tell you what. Either you're really wrong or you're really right. Yeah, I know. It's usually something. The thing that I like about how we do these things, like with... with uh, he doesn't like to be called wrong. My fear. It's his greatest fear. This <laughs> is crazy. The thing that I like about... Fear to have. The thing I really love about how we do, like, <coughs> especially these ketchup things is like... Ketchup? Yeah. Like, everybody... Catsup. I got much Catsup mustard upstairs. Yeah. Mustard. Everybody that is watching this, almost everybody, has already seen probably all of Avatar. Yeah. So, you know, same thing with, like, Stranger Things or with Game of... Like, when we did Game of Thrones, like... Mm. Like, when we watch Stranger Things... The audience is Shane. They have a presence in our video, you know? The audience is Calvin. They have a presence in the video. I, I really like that dynamic. It's yeah. fun. Uh, we got to think of a poll for this episode. All right, so poll for this week, we're going to... Uh, we're comparing the two backstories we learned, right? Do you prefer Aang's backstory over Zuko's or Zuko's over Aang's? Um, I'm pretty split down the middle, but if I had to make a choice, I'd probably go Zuko just because I like... Ozai and Mark Hamill and that stuff was cool. He's like but, a dad. <laughs> well, I mean, like, it's tragic for Zuko, yes, because he didn't have a choice in the matter. And he did leave. He did have a choice. And he would say he made the wrong choice. That's also very compelling as well. But Mark Hamill just... <coughs> Can't help it. You don't seem that split down the middle this time. Right? No, he I'm doesn't. pretty. Sp- the I last mean, time you were split down the middle, you had to flip a coin. Yeah. This time you're like, yeah. no, I'm gonna make a choice. I'm pretty split just, down the middle. But if I had to choose, I'd pick this one I definitely. Yeah. I think I'd probably just, put it like, if I'm being 100 percent honest, it, it'd be like a, a 60, like a 40, like a no 45, 55. Yeah. 51, That's, 49. No, what Shane said. Shane was right, and you were wrong. 51, 73. No, I wasn't wrong. <laughs> what would you say, Shane? <laughs> I'm always intrigued by villains. Yeah, Zuko. Always have been. Yeah. No, Aang. <laughs> <laughs> he oh, left. He let all these people one. die. <laughs> all right, Calvin, what's your choice? Zuko. Zuko? Aaron? I guess Aang's. Ooh. Okay. Ah, oh, damn. All right, so we got uh, Zuko, 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 and Aang. We, we don't... Blah, yeah. But... What? I, I want to side with the good guys. Okay, you're going to Aang then. He just change it now. He does. He does just change it. I just change it. Now, you guys can't change it, though. Once you vote, and you can learn how to vote at our Patreon page, uh, patreon.com patreon. slash BlondeWave. Uh, once you vote, you can only vote once. Yeah. Yep. So, make sure you get it right the first time. Yeah, absolutely. You like die. Die. This is like a test. Yes. Um, so go and do that. Those are a lot of fun. You guys don't are, uh, lie either. All right, so that's going to be everything. Down in the description of the links to our social media. BlindWave.net has stuff. And a store. And shirts. And we'll see you guys next time. I'm Eric. Shane. Hi, Calvin. Stop it! Fucking Calvin!